how do you find the midpoint of a line segment? So let me take a simple example. So this is your y axis and this is your x axis. And you've got a line segment. Say this is your line segment. And say this point is A and this point is B. Okay, so let's take some points, coordinates. So this is say 1 comma 3 and say this is how much? Uh, let's say this is 5 comma 10 or 5 comma 7. Okay, and we want to find the midpoint of this, say which is M. This M is the midpoint. We want to find M, which is the midpoint. Okay, so the distance from A to M is equal to the distance from M to B or B to M. So this is equal to, so we we want to find, or we, is, we are given that AM is equal to BM because M is the midpoint. And say, the coordinate of m, let's say, is x comma y. So I don't want to give you a formula, so let's use basically the section formula. Say let's draw a normal to the x-axis. Okay. So let's draw a triangle like this. Okay. So yeah, this is one. This is one. This is x and this is y. So, and this is the origin. Okay. So, say so let's call this say p and this is q. Okay. And uh, so the distance from year to year, a to p, the distance from this point to this point is x and the distance from this point to this point is 1. So this distance AP would be X minus 1. Okay. And what would be this distance? Uh, this distance from year to year is phi and from year to year is X. So this is phi minus X. Now, what can we see? What can we say more? Now this angle, or both of them are right angle, this triangle is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle. This angle is equal to this angle. Okay, because these two are parallel lines. Suppose, let me draw, suppose, let me highlight this. Say this is, oops, I wanted to extend this. So these are parallel lines. Highlight this, and let's say this is a and just to show you that this is, okay, what can we see here? Can you see this angle is equal to this angle because they are corresponding angle. This angle is equal to this because they're corresponding angle. Or even by eyeballing, you can say that this angle is equal to this angle. And this angle is equal to this angle. So these two triangles are similar. So I can say triangle APM APM is similar to triangle uh, MQB MQB. There's a simple formula, but I don't want to give the formula. You don't need to remember any formula. So we can say uh, if this is say Okay, and what can we say? If this distance, if this distance is say one, or if this distance is one, this distance would also be one. Um, this is only a unit. So if this is one unit, this is also one unit. Okay. So now using proportional, proportional, uh, proportional triangle or similar triangles, not proportional triangle. Uh, what can we say? This side, this blue side, is similar to this side. These two are proportional to each other. Okay, they are proportional sides of similar.
triangle. So we can say x minus 1 over x minus 1 over 5 minus x is equal to this side over this side is equal to 1 over 1. Okay, so now cross multiplying you can say x minus 1 is equal to 5 minus x. Okay, so making bringing the x together, so x plus x is equal to 5 plus 1. I want you to see a very interesting thing that is happening. So 2x is equal to 5 plus 1. Now what is 5 and what is 1? Phi is the coordinate of B and 1 is the coordinate of A. And x is equal to, you can say, 1 plus phi over 2. And this is the formula that I wanted to show you without telling you the formula. So if you want to find the coordinate of the midpoint, basically what we do is you add the x coordinate and divide it by 2. So 6 over 2, which is 3. Okay. And same way, let me draw, say, this side. This side is proportional to this side. These two sides are proportional. So, uh, what can we say here? This is, this, this distance from M to P, the coordinate of M is Y and the coordinate of A is 3. So, this is Y minus 3. This is y minus 3. And the distance, this distance is 7, 7 minus y. 7 minus y. So let me use a different color. So again, the same rule or same concept, 7 minus 3 over y minus 7 is equal to 1 over 1. So y minus 3, 1 over 1 is equal to 7 minus y. So bring the y's together, y plus y is equal to 3 plus 7. And again, the, can you see the same thing? 3 is the coordinate of A and 7 is the coordinate of B. So 2y is equal to 10, so y is equal to 5. So basically to find the midpoint, the coordinate of the midpoint, you simply add the x coordinates and divide it by 2. So, either, so just by looking at these two points, I can say 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And y coordinate would be the addition of the y coordinates, that is 3 plus 7 which is 10, divided by 2 which is 5. So 3 comma 5 is the coordinate of the midpoint.